you think for our southern brethren we could do some uh, fried green tomatoes, sir? Oh, I think that's a fantastic Ooh. idea. Hey, why don't you grab those two right there? All right. And this knife. Yep. Go Stand ahead and here. slice. Stand here. Yeah, I think you're good there. Perfect. Go ahead and slice them. Yep. And hey, Warren. Never mind. What? We still have buttermilk. You don't even need to go in there. So you want to uh, you want to cut you want to cut some stuff up for me? Yeah. All right. Okay. So you're gonna do this. Just kind of push Jeff to the side there a little bit. Okay. And you're gonna do the exact same thing, Jay. Okay. Just gonna slice them like this. Okay. Wait, why? Just like well, I mean, but slice them the whole way through. Start down at the end. Wait. All the way out here tonight, Warren. Celebrate, Jeff. Celebrate Mike's harvest. And bring this big old fried largemouth bass all the way home with as much respect and delicious preparation as we can. So anyhow, look for more good things soon from Rarick Woodworks and uh, Hunt Chef Nation because we're going to bring you guys some awesome, awesome cutting board action. Look at you go, Jay. Hey, oh, I just want to get make whip up some remoulade and go now on that. Thank you. Warren, come hither, son of mine. You got more chopping to do, yo. So what else y'all doing out there in the great outdoors? We know rattlesnake season is popular here in Pennsylvania. Is it? I gotta try one of your green onion your fried green tomato. Straight back to Georgia, baby. Mm. Wow. How good is that? Check it out, people. Jason Fairbanks in Paonia, Colorado said it's hotter than seven hells the past few days. <laughs> that's pretty funny. That's pretty. That's funny. That's funny. And all hotter than all seven things. hells. Wow. Oh, I got a mouth for it now. And it's delicious. And one of the things, one of my favorite things about summer, which one's better? This one's actually a little heavier, so that means it's riper. But this one's prettier. We'll go with riper. We're gonna take one. And one of the things that I love about summertime are garden tomatoes. And this guy, we're gonna take just a foot off of it here from the top. Look how pretty that is. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Everybody like you some garden tomatoes out there? I know you do. Daddy, so we're gonna cut. Oh, dude, you're doing so good tonight. That's a great summer thing, too, Chef. Oh. Everybody's enjoying your garden right now. Come on. And one more slice. We're going to go and take that top of that core out of that guy. We'll just force it out. Come out, core, come out. All right. So then we're going to get the top and bottom. Lose those for the show. And look how, what? You're going to the living room. Okay, Warren's going to the living room. He'll be back, people. Don't worry. A little bit extra virgin olive oil on each slice. How long do you think Jeff will take? Um, Jeff's going to take about four minutes, I think. Ooh. So we're going to get him in there in just a second. How's your lime butter coming, Jay? It's slowly coming. Slowly coming. Slow process, people. Sorry. Well, that's okay. It's a small bowl. And we got nothing but time. It's not all about the meat. It's not always all about the wild meat. It's about the flavor. Hunt Chef Smoky Bayou. Going on these garden tomatoes. Trust me, trust me. There's no basil here. There's no balsamic vinegar here. There's extra virgin olive oil. Awesome summer tomatoes and Hunt Chef Smoky Bayou. Ooh. Now, those we've got our crispy fried green tomatoes that are already seasoned up with the straight out of poncho train with buttermilk and see stay tuned a lot more coming for hunt chef nation follow me on instagram facebook youtube and huntchef.com